Hello. <laughs> I gotta take the headphones off now. Ah, oh, oh, that feels nice to take off. Uh, hello, all 25 of you. Welcome. Um, I'm standing here in the basement with a pocket full of dog treats with a toy in front of me. Uh, it probably smells like cheese. Probably. Just wait for a few more people to join in before I actually bust this open. But how's everybody doing? You all doing good? I hope everybody's doing good. If anyone went to TFCon, how was it? Because I, I enjoyed it, even though it was smaller than usual. Get the music out of there. I also hope you can all hear me okay. Just please let me know if I sound like an idiot or not. <laughs> Why not the Power Links version? I mean, it says Power Links right there. This is just normal Energon Ironhead. I mean, I didn't buy this. My, my, my buddy gave it to me. My buddy Nick. Thank you, Nick. We, I traded this for um, an MP figure. Because this is just... This is... Well, uh, let's just say Unicron Trilogy figures at TFCon in their boxes were going for like a minimum of $100. So, how's the mini firmament? Absolutely amazing. I was going to bring it downstairs, but I forgot it. I forgot it upstairs. But these Legends class figures are amazing. Definitely buy these if you have not had a chance to, because they're so good. So good. I'll talk about them more later. Let's wait for more people to show up. I also have this to open as well. So we'll do that during this as well because i have not seen this figure in person other than at the convention so but we'll start with this because iron head's cool unless you guys want me to where'd it go unless you want me to open this first here pick one which one do you want to see first you want to see the exclusive or did you want to see uh energon iron hide did you get your fans hobby figures yet not yet they haven't shipped any of them so I don't know. I'm assuming they're just waiting for the one that I ordered with it to be finished before that ships. What's your favorite hunt for the Decepticons figure? Probably. That's a good question. I'm going to have to go with... Oh, the big yellow dump truck. I forget his name. The long haul repaint. That one. This year I bought New Age Optimus. Just waiting for him to be in stock at Shozy Store. Well, I mean, first of all, I love how they called New Age Optimus David. His name is fucking David. <laughs> but this is a really good figure. The Optimus in here. Focus, idiot. There we go. The Optimus in here is so nice. And there goes his thigh piece. That's the, my one issue is the thigh piece falls off all the time. Friend, did they say they're stalling the order due to Black Friday sale? No, because one of the things I ordered was a pre-order. And they're both in the same order, so we've got to wait for the pre-order to come up before they ship both. Payload, yes, payload. Payload's amazing. I bought a fig motors. <laughs> ah. You know what, we'll start with, okay, hi, TCO is strike. Hello. You should Kang Toys Mini, you get them cheaper. Well, my buddy brought it down from the States. It was $32 at the store he bought it from, and it's a local store to him, so that's why I wanted to go. David, all hail David. Yes, all hail David. But this is the box for Energon Ironhide. For those of you who have never seen an Energon toy before or an Energon box, this is, yeah, this is what they look like. Uh, they used to have that on the bottom. They would have cool like what it does on the side i don't have another voyager so i can't do that can you pay for my load and then they have bios on the side so anyways i've never ever messed with a v uh, version of this before so um let's just get into it now shall we with the kitchen scissors because i forgot my knife all right i'm breaking the seal on an energon toy the seal is broken Energon, now I feel the same. Do you have animated lug nut? I don't, and I was looking for one at TFCon, but I couldn't find one. I can't get the box open. Eh. Oh, there's more tape? Are you kidding me? Okay. More tape. More tape up at the top. Hang on, I got 
do this off camera. Otherwise, I'll slice my finger off. You should buy Kingdom Rodimus. Should I buy Kingdom Rodimus for Christmas? Yes. Kingdom Rodimus is amazing. And we have a super chat. Holy shit. Snag the Siege Micromaster Daddy O packet. All these six bucks. First of all, thank you very much for the super chat. That's awesome. Like, seriously, thank you. And Siege Micromaster for six bucks. That's really good. That is very good. All right. Are you ready for this? We're going to slide this out. Oh, there it is. There's the boy. No, my boy, father help. I'm sorry, I watched too much TikTok. Show us your dog. The dog's upstairs sleeping. Um, there he is. That's that's him. Let's see what's on the back. Oh yeah, this comes with a comic book. So let's get the comic book out of there. <laughs> Why am I hearing angel music and seeing the gates of heaven open from this box? Because it's Energon, man. The show was terrible, but the toy line... I whacked the camera. I'm sorry. The show was terrible, but the toy line was great. Let's see. Classics will be on eBay. And the Red Hub Energon Ironhide. That's cool. Should I buy Siege Soundwave? Siege Soundwave is fun. Oh, there's the comic. There's the... Co I have this issue. I got this issue in another figure. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Alternity. The all is that that's uh Subaru Pretzel. Yeah. Ah, I drive one of those. All the Energon toys. I have I have that, that, and that. I don't have either of those two. Damn, why haven't I bought this yet? <laughs> These are cool. I miss when you used to get catalogs in here. Like these are fun. Look at that Unicron. Look at that unit. And then built to rule, everybody's favorite. Anyways. And look at this. Look at that. A collector's card. That's neat. Should I buy Studio Series Hot Rod? Yeah, it's decent. It had mine had issues, but everybody else seems to like it. Anyways, let's break this guy out of his plastic prison. You sure this ain't animated Sentinel Prime? The vehicle mode looks like that. I mean, Animated Sentinel Prime was a snowplow versus this, which is just a, a thing. It's just a thing. It's a truck thing. Is that all the ties? That is not all the ties. Where is he also tied? I cut that. I cut that. Oh, is he tied at the bottom, too? He is tied at the bottom. God damn it. Oh, come on, old Hasbro. Do I have to cut all of this tape? Do I have to cut all of this? I do. Let's, let's, eh. And then does it just like... What the hell? I just want my toy. Just give me my figure. There we go. Okay, so there's four of these dumbasses on the bottom. I missed. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. It's still not coming out. What the hell? I don't want to demolish the box, though, because I want to keep the box. What is it stuck on? Had an Energon Demolisher and a Cybertron Demolisher. I only have Cybertron Demolisher. Oh. Can I just get, it, get in there and just cut this? This is really annoying me now. I can't... I can't actually, like, get in here. Oh, it's tied in his fists. It requires a blood sacrifice. Bring in the dog. No! 
I keep hitting the camera. God damn it. Ugh, that felt like I just cut into the tire. I can't. What's your favorite Unicron trilogy toy? Uh, probably Landshark. Ugh. He's free. I will clean up that mess later. You can tell this thing is so old, the ties are stuck to the wheels. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay. It says J4. That's a bit harsh. Let's just get all that tab back in. I don't want any spoilers for this. Okay, we have the iron hide, the out of focus iron hide. Focus, there we go. Uh, let's get this rubber band off. I could probably just rip it off because it's it's stuck to the figure. It is like, ugh, it feels awful. That's it. You just toss the box like M go. I mean, I'm gonna put the box back together and keep it. Unlike Mgo, who recycles most of his boxes. All right, there we go. Did this come with lights and sounds already, or with batteries already installed, or do I have to do that myself? Because I don't have a screwdriver, nor do I have batteries. Oh well. But there's Energon Ironhide. This is a chonky thing. If it's so harsh, why are you laughing? And it's just funny. This is a chonky truck. Uh, do I have a? Here's Masterpiece Skids for comparison. So, there you go, that. Buy, I found lots of energy on Armada stuff. I have a question, shipping company, DHL. Still has a package in customs. No, customs just takes a while to clear stuff up. That's just customs and COVID. So, I wouldn't worry about that too much. But this thing is, this thing's beefy. It is a chunky thing. Look at that. Look at that. Damn, that thing must have good Wi-Fi. Wasn't there a missile? There probably is a missile in the box. There is a missile in the box, but it's just a missile. It's brown. It's this same ugly color. MP Skids looks like a baby. Here, MP Skids. MP Skids is Energon Ironhide's baby. There you go. Like father, like son. Anyways, let's get this thing in its robot mode. It rolls really nicely. I don't, I, I will agree with a lot of people, don't like this. Don't forget the rubber band on Ironhide's feet. Oh, thank you very much. Totally, totally missed that rubber band. How the... Alright, get... There we go. Thank you, whoever told me about the rubber band. Who told me about the rubber band? Winter Zero, thank you. You should buy Earthrise Skylinks. I almost did. There was one for 90 bucks there at TFCon. But I decided to buy this instead. Because it was the same price. And this is so good. Anti-toy theft box. Yeah, there's no way. Anyways, let's take a look at the instructions. See if there's anything interesting in here. Um... Using a Phillips screwdriver, using a Phillips screwdriver, not included, loosen screw in battery compartment door, remove door, insert two triple A's, not included, paint. All right. That's not that hard. Okay. So let's get the feet folded out. Let's get the panel opened up. Oh, those ratchets still feel nice after how long this thing's been around for. That's tall. Wow. That is a lot taller than I was expecting it to be. And then I'm assuming the arms just, yeah, they just rotate around. And rotate around. And then you flip the little thing up on his head. And that is Energon Ironhide. That's... I'm not gonna lie, that feels like it's supposed not supposed to be crooked. Oh, I guess that's how you fire it. Okay, 
That's pretty cool, actually. Too chunky, too tall. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of his shins. Well, you think that's... Focus, idiot. You think that's chunky. Here's uh, Cybertron Jetfire for you. That's chunky. That is huge. <laughs> that is so big, he doesn't like standing by himself. You know, totally had that when I was a kid. I never had this when I was a kid. I had Hotshot. And my Hotshot is currently missing a door. Which is annoying. Do you have him in his other colors? I do not. I think he comes in green as well. This guy did not skip leg day. Please, can you add the batteries? Kren, I don't have triple A's in the house. I thought it was going to be double A's and I could rob the Xbox controller. I don't have triple A's. But this is this is cool. His I love how the rotation on his head is literally just rotate the whole platform. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. It was show out shoulders. Elbows are on ball joints. That's really close to my head. Um, eh. This ratchets are really nice, though. Ah, that actually feels really nice. But he doesn't just do that. He has a shirt and pants mode. So let's see shirt and pants mode. This I might need the instructions for. What's this figure again? Energon Ironhide. Okay, so for shirt mode, you do a bunch of stuff. Okay. Where's his missile? In the box still on the floor. I don't want to get it because it's going to fire and then I'm going to forget where it is. Something must take triple A's. Yeah, but I'm not going to leave the room and go to the TV remote and rob it of its triple A's. <laughs> okay, let's see. So you move the arms forward. Rotate it like that. And then you bring them back. Like this. Yes, shirt mode. Whoa, focus. There we go. And then you spin literally split them in half you wrote that does not feel strong are you going to review all the stuff you got yes that does not feel strong in the slightest then you bring these out and you somehow split this I'm going to have to do this over here Oh. Okay. Now that's done. I'm assuming that goes, yeah, like this. And you rotate that around and you close up the things. Yo, yo, Wish I had the jet fire. Hey, we got it. Oh, wow. Another super chat. Shirt O mode. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. I really do appreciate that. But there's shirt. There's shirt. Shirto mode. That's hilarious. I love the fact that these things are shirt and pants modes. It's hilarious. <laughs> Very cheap sounding. It feels a lot nicer in hand. This microphone has like filters and stuff on it, so you hear. You don't hear all the clicks. But yeah. Back in my day, Transformers so I needed some muscle and they can take a beating. I could probably throw this. I'm not going to throw this at the floor, but I could probably throw this at the floor and it would survive. Oh, oh, the, you can do a cursed fan mode with this. I just saw something. I want to do it. Hang on. Ah, close. There we go. I must do this. We're doing it. Hang on. We're doing it. <laughs> now he is extra tall. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get his arms over. Extra tall iron height. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Earthrise Plastic, to be fair, was hit with the whole COVID thing, so their plastic quality wasn't the greatest. But yes, it did still suck. So you can like, there, that is, that is canonically what Energon Ironhide looked like. That is forever Energon Ironhide. 
Look at how tall he is. Where's a Voyager? Here's a Voyager. Look at that. Taller hide is even taller hide. Yes. And again, MP skids. There you go. All right, let's continue with the rest of pants mode, shall we? Why does that work? I don't know, but it does work. Iron wide. All right, you fold the feet down and then you fold these up and up and up and up. You do the whole arms thing again and then you just... Oh, so he's just got an entire iron hide hanging off of his ass. Interesting. Don't like the pants mode, not gonna lie. Because he's just iron hide hanging, hanging off. He's like, hello, I'm right here. There he is. This kid looks like his shoe. He is the same length as the foot. Like the same length. That's, yes. I'll, I'll show you skids in a minute, because skids is really fucking good. But that is Energon Ironhide. Let's get him back in Ironhide mode before I move on to the next figure. Nah, I'm not gonna, not gonna leave him in tall mode. Oh. And I'll bring this up as a talking point because it's kind of annoying. In Canada, the de Canada deluxes have gone up. Another five bucks from uh, Jesus Mariner. Thank you so much. Pence mode kicker has a nosebleed. God, I kind of want to get that kicker just for the jokes, just for the memes. But there's Ironhide. That is really cool. Do that green lump. Did you do that green looking semi truck? Green looking semi truck? Are you talking about Land Shark? Is the Energon figures worth it? Yes. Don't overpay for them. There were a lot of like Energon figures used that were a hundred bucks or so, but yeah, I wouldn't pay that much for them, but this is really cool. Another buy of five bucks from Jesus. Yes. Boopity, you haven't missed anything. Anyways, I'm going to now move on to the next figure I haven't opened yet. Which is the exclusive. The exclusive. I don't know why I put an accent on when I said that. So this, for those of you who don't know, 3399, 39 liters went up. Well, liters have been 72 for a while now. Voyagers are now 45. And liters are now 30 or not liters. The uh, deluxes are now 34. They were 3299. Now they're 34, so yeah. But this is um, the exclusive. It's supposed to be Lift Ticket. Which is funny because Lift Ticket is actually getting a Gen Select figure in Legacy. But I love when third party companies actually use official masterpiece for um, the back of the box. But yeah, let's. Um, so when I cracked this open, I opened it up and I saw bits of Lift Ticket and fucking Santa Claus. Why is Santa Claus there? I don't understand. Anyways, let's get this guy out of the... Ah! All, all, of, all of this stuff just fell out of the box. Okay, hang on. So first of all, there's a Jack Skellington mask. So if anyone's interested in that, th that comes with the thing. The instructions are on the floor. Um... You get this thing, Santa. There's there's Santa. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, yeah, Santa Claus. This. You get all of this stuff in the dis most disgusting bag I think I've ever felt. There's a lot of stuff in here, including that other head. That's okay, and then this. This crane. Hi, Mega Jack. This is this is weird. But anyways, my desk is a mess now. Let's. What? There's another mask. There's another Santa in here. There is another Santa. I'm pretty sure this has to do with the fact that the toy came out during the Christmas season, because it is currently December. 
And TFCon normally happens in July. But it's still weird. Anyways, let's get Lift Ticket out of here. So this is X Transbot's take on a masterpiece style hoist, and this is obviously a repaint of that. It's nice. Oh wow, it feels really nice. That is, that feels like this. Like there, there's um. MP Skids and um, Lift Ticket. He also did come with stickers, which I have currently. Hang on. Ah, here they are. He came with stickers. So. Let's take a look at these in this golden ass foil thing. Aegis 3 and up goes all out. Lift Ticket is just McDonald's hoist. <laughs> yes. Lift Ticket is McDonald's toys. Uh, hoist. God damn it. So these, I. Ugh. Oh no, I stuck the sticker. Is that a green goblin? Is that a green goblin? That's Madhouse Toys logo and it's a green goblin. That's cool. Is there anything else in here that I missed? No. Okay, I'm I kinda wanna keep this because it's all gold. It's 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 weird. Anyways. We have the Wrecker stickers, the Green Goblin stickers, and then um, super exclusive giveaway. Hey, X Transbots fans, it's your chance to win a super exclusive. Ages 3 and up, Toy Dojo and Madhouse Toys have come together or come up with a simple and easy contest for lucky winners. What do you win? You, the lucky winner, will receive a super exclusive X Transbots masterpiece scale figure painted in prototype colors. This will be specifically finished by X Transbots. Huh. I'm going to enter that. That's actually really cool. But here's the actual sticker sheet for it. I'm not going to put these on today, but I will put these on because he does look kind of bare and out of focus. This camera's autofocus is trash. Marner, Jesus, you keep giving me super chats, man. Save your money. Thank you. You know, I'm something of a masterpiece myself. Hey, I get it. I get it. Dude, Friday. I'm seeing the movie on Friday. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Anyways. On to the actual figure. Let's let's get in close so we can take a look at it. I will give this a full video, probably Saturdays. This just looks really, really nice. That looks so cool. Oh, there's die cast. These are die cast. Okay. You say sticker you say stickers ew, but if you've ever used toy hacks or repro labels labels, they are really, really good. That is so out of focus. They are very good stickers. So I don't complain about those. How is skids? Skids is the best masterpiece toy I've bought in a very long time. Yeah. Have you seen the Sonic 2 movie trailer? I have, and it makes me want to watch the first one because I haven't yet. <laughs> Good night, Marin Marioner. Thank you very much for the super chats. I appreciate that. He's got rubber tires, which is awesome. I really love the weight. Like, it's heavy at the back, obviously, because of all this, but I feel like the front is also, like, heavy enough to balance it out. It rolls really well. Anyways, let's see uh, where did the instructions go. Where did the instructions go? My office is a mess. The instructions are missing. This is pain. Um, oh, here they are. I found them. They're in a Ziploc bag. They're in a sandwich bag. Hang on, let's... Okay, first of all, whoever they got to do the artwork, absolutely superb. Love the artwork. I think that's amazing. But uh, let's... Is this all instructions? Oh my lord. Okay. All I see is McDonald's truck. Honestly, all I see is the Pizza Planet van. How do you feel about the Halo TV show? I'm very excited for the Halo TV show. There's 74 people here. Hello, everyone. Okay. So you can apparently plug the crane into the top. Somebody's moving around upstairs. 
like this. Come on. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to plug in. I don't want to force it. I don't want to. I'll figure it out later. I shall figure it out later. But this folds down, and these slide out, and you can theoretically tow other masterpiece figures. Aha, yes he can. He can tow other MPs. That's cool. That's cool. The vehicle mode is clean. Yeah, the vehicle mode's clean because all the stickers haven't been put on yet. That is that is awesome. I love that. I know gimmicks a lot of times aren't people's things. I personally appreciate them and I really, really like that gimmick. Anyways, let's fold that back up. That's really neat. I really like that. That's a nice red bionicle. Hey, Razor, you want a red bionicle? There you go. Red bionicle. All right, so... Split the end of the rear truck. I'm assuming it's these. Can't see. Is it those? What is it? These, okay, these instructions aren't the greatest. It's this. Oh, my thumb. My thumb still hurts from friggin' Landshark. Then you fold that up. And then... Yep, okay. Next page. Next page of these painful instructions. Pull up on the section in red. Okay. As picture shown position. Postioin. Po postioin. As picture shown, postioin. Yes. I like auto obtrusive gimmicks, but mainly I care about transformation and decent robot and vehicle mode. That's fair. Okay. Pull on the red section. Oh, I got it. It's clear plastic. <laughs> Scary. Scary. I mean, if it's better than Hasbro's clear plastic, I'll be fine with it. Red section, whole part, lift up like this. Okay. What is the stream delay? A few seconds. Special notice. Red part... No, special notice part in red position when transformation... E what? Okay. Yes, we grammar know. Okay, you ready for this grammar? Special notice part in red position when transformation either robot or alt mode. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, this is the TFCon exclusive lift ticket for those who just joined. Welcome, by the way. I don't understand any of that sentence. Okay, um, I'm assuming it just means pull that up and be careful not to break it. I love this. The instructions actually have a person's hand in there. Okay. Push the red section forward. Is it on a slider or am I just going to break it? I don't know what's happening. I seriously don't know what's happening. I had to sell my sanity to transform this. I just don't want to break it. That's my only issue because you can't buy this anymore. It's a TFCon exclusive. Oh, they missed a step where you have to fold out these panels down here. Okay. So there's these two panels at the back. Then you can push the whole thing. Yep, there it goes. All right, and then pull up on the red sections. On these sections, I'm assuming. Yep. There you go. Translation, careful with red plastic could break easily. <laughs> they probably use, like, the old Google tra Apple Translate. There you go. They use Apple Translate for that. Pull the red... Push red section in arrow's direction. Okay, that makes sense. Special notice for when the robot transforming to alt mode. Okay, so I flip it over and I just, what... 
pull this. Is that the back or the front? I can't tell. That's the back. It said special notice. I have to be special and careful with this thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. We've dismembered the truck. Hey, thanks, Evan, for subscribing. Is this Art Fire or something? This is Lift Ticket. Art Fire is a repaint of this. So. Okay, that's now we're on to page 12 of the book. Why grammar like that? Wait, what? Oh, that just compresses slightly. Okay. We compress ever so slightly, and then we work on separate the shins. All right. Na Nail up the red section. Nail up. That is very. Nail up the. I need nails for this. Saw your videos a long time, and I like them very much. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you. What the hell? Okay, so. Nail up the red section. I have opened... <laughs> it just says, open it. I will open it. How was TFCon? It was fun. I enjoyed it. Okay. Lift and rotate the red section. The picture they show is abysmal. And they want me to lift and rotate the red section. Okay, so... Like, like that? That's not rotating it. That's just being weird. Okay. I'm so confused right now. This has to like... Pull the pin to where the picture shows. Is it like lock in? Is that a thing that this does or Hey hey Brian. I don't wanna I don't know why I almost wanted to call you Nate for some reason. I don't even know a Nate. Hi Brian. Uh oh, okay, you lift that up and then you push this down and then that becomes the Oh, I see, it's out of focus. I see, okay. So somehow we what the and then that just... Ah! There we go. Haha! -ha, we have a leg. Does it collapse on itself? It just did. And then that, I'm assuming, just like... Folds over and around. Yeah. As they would call him Royce. When's uh, when and where is TFCon next? I think it's in Chicago at the beginning of next year, and then it's in Toronto again in July. So, yeah. All right. I'm assuming the next leg is the same, so we're just gonna do the next leg. Next leg of the race. I'm sorry. Eh. Come on. There we go. We have leg. This feels kind of fiddly, I'm not going to lie. Have you seen the Walmart reissue of Optimus Primal? I've seen all the Walmart reissues except for Optimus Primal. <laughs> I've seen Rat Trap, I've seen Megatron, Cheetor, I have not seen Primal. Okay, there are the legs. Success, yes, we have success. Ow, I pinched my finger. That's all foot, I just did all of that. I don't need the, oh. Oh, that's neat. The diecast bits fold up. Now, what is that? Rotate the side of truck to form side robot hip skirt. Hip skirt fin. <laughs> the next step is hip skirt finished. Thoughts on Legacy so far? I pre-ordered it all, but um, kickback. So I'm really excited to see what they do. I just don't care about Insecticons. That's why I didn't get kickback. Anyways, rotating the hip skirt. Rotate hips. Peg in, you idiot. 
There we go. Sorry, any third party panel for tier on this Toronto? There was. I just didn't go because we went to go get lunch, stayed for a little bit, and then came home. Because I knew the third party panel was going to get recorded anyways. And honestly, we were tired. I'd love to get the legacy version of him. I want to pre-order it, but I just missed my chance. So I'm hoping EB Games has them. LA is the next one. That's it. Thank you. Chicago's at the end of the year with Toronto in July. Thank you. Step 44 and 45 is just looking at the legs at the front and then looking at the legs at the back. That's 44. That's 45. Those are not steps. Hey, Tau V001. Thanks for subscribing. Separate between the square section. Okay. Separate between the square section. All right. Monkey. What's the date of TFCon July? I believe it's the 9th to the 11th. Actually, uh, Proto Man tweeted about it. Hang on. I put it... Yeah, it's the... Um, I don't know if you can see that. 9th to the 11th. So, yeah. If you don't have G1 Optimus Prime, we'll get the Walmart reissue. I used to have the original when I was little. I don't want the new one anymore, so... Yeah, I used to have it, and I've messed with it. It's fun. Okay, so now we're doing arms. Pull those out. Yeah. That feels real nice. Do the wheels go anywhere, or do they just sit there? Do they fold in? Oh, they fold in. Are they supposed to fold in? Ah. I'm assuming they are supposed to fold in. I just realized I'm zoomed in. Sorry about that. Okay. Number 51. Can, oh, I don't need that. We are now on step 53. What's your favorite Optimus Prime version? Are you talking about toy or um, uh, iteration? Okay. Rotate the waist. This is actually looking really nice. Okay. Take the head. Rotate the head 90 degrees and pull it out. Head in proper position is the next step. It's just head in proper position. Okay. Head's in the proper spot. Hey, that's cool. They call it kibble in the instruction. Back kibble, pull down. Can you say hi to my son, Nick? Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick Gurr. Oh, I hate you. I'm glad I put a space in between those two words. I can't believe I fell for that. I I hate you. I uh, Is that left state? Yes, it is. I thought you were actually... I can't believe I fell for that. Back kibble pull down. I did that. What is that? What? Okay, um, so this has a thing that swings, yeah, this has a thing that swings down, and then you fold down the windows, there was someone in the room opposite to me, lower the kibble flap parts, what, okay, this is very strange. That rotates down. Eh. There we go. Should do more things that make Transformers fans cringe. I will. I just don't want to do them all at once because you know that gets annoying for people. So and those fold out, and then that folds up. Push the lower body forward. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then this just kind of collapses, I guess. Yeah. And it tabs in somewhere. Mm. 
Where does it tab in? I don't know. I'm very confused. Um, where's the tab? Oh, is it inside? Oh, there it is. There it is. So that collapses in, and that tabs in. Oh, and then that folds up there. Oh, okay, I see. And this comes in and pegs in. So the kibble pegs in there. And move. And right there. Aha! That's a nice clean backpack. I don't have Earthrise Trail Breaker to compare this to. Sorry. The arms, I'm pretty sure I can just figure out. I say as I struggle. <laughs> Oops. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. This cable flap is actually starting to annoy me. Fold up, idiot. There we go. And then the hand just kind of folds out. And then you bring that up and in. That feels wrong. Because it's backwards. There we go. Okay, let's tilt this up. And get this thing finished. Get the hand out, rotate that around. And there we have TFCon exclusive lift ticket. Oh, the thigh swivel's so stiff. There you go. How many steps are there in this instruction manual? Okay, shoulders can be pulled out. I'll do that, fold that up. This thing requires 77 steps to transform. Transform is equivalent to Rubik's Cube. Well, Rubik's Cube is actually kind of easy, so... This wasn't easy. Hang on, the shoulders can pull out. Oh, they are pulled out. Well, that one doesn't want to pull out. I'm not going to force it right now. There you go. That's lift ticket. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, Voyager class comparison. And MP skids right there. That is pretty cool. And then he's got all this crap that I have to deal with. Let's put the Santa mask on him. Let, let's give him Santa's face. Hang on. Good luck on your exams, King Arcania. <laughs> Why is that funny? I hate this. <laughs> That's... Stupid. Why does he come with this? Whose idea was this? Like, what? Why? Which... Which third-party knight Optimus Prime do you prefer? Alien Attacks, El Cid, Unique Toys Challenger. Definitely Unique Toys Challenger. Uh, where did the Nightmare Before or Nightmare Before Christmas stuff go? There it is. Let's put that on him. Why is that a thing? I don't know. Why don't you transform MP tracks? I have MP Road Rage. I don't have MP tracks, and Road Rage is upstairs. There you go. Nightmare Before Christmas. Accessory. I think they pick Lift Ticket. Because Lift Ticket's supposed to come out in Legacy, and they did the Santa stuff because it's December. But that's that's just you can't you can only pose the head that way. It doesn't go. Oh, it does go the other way. There you go. Uh, do you just buy Transformer Transformer at once? 
most of the time that's how I figure it out, but there are some where it's like, Ugh. Let's get um, Cartoon Santa on there. <laughs> I think my favorite, I'll give you a good look at that one, but I think my favorite is still this one. The original uh, claymation stop motion Santa face. That's that's amazing. One step changes that don't require part rotation. Yeah, I mean, no, every one step change is technically not a one step changer. All right, let's see what other crap he comes with in this garbage bag. All right, so. Bits are going to start flying everywhere. The vacuum's on upstairs. That opens. Okay. You can replace his hand with these. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I do want to put that replacement head on, actually, because I like it better than the, the one that's on him now. There's the replacement head. That actually looks quite nice. That's actually pretty cool. How do you swap the head? It's on a mushroom peg. You know what? I will do that without a camera in front of my face because I don't want to break it. What is this chain thing? Whatever it is, it just broke. It just came off its ball joints. Hang on. Eh. And eh. Oh, there it goes again. Things <laughs> that make Transformers fans happy. Holiday themed masks. I'm making an entire short just around these because I don't get it. Oh, this is those weird arm things you put on the truck mode. Okay. Um, they don't really support their own weight. It's uh, cold mornings. Eh? I'm just kidding. And then we have side view mirrors, a hammer, and then whatever the hell these are. I don't know what those are, but I'll figure it out later. But yeah, let's see what his uh, posing's like. Oh, that's so stiff. There we go. That is really loose. What would you think of Megatron, but has been painted to look like he's wearing an ugly sweater? I can see the appeal of something like that. I love, look at that. This is my second time ever handling an X-Transbots figure, and the first one I handled was absolute garbage. This feels great. This feels just like the next subject I want to get into, which is MP Skids. So let's just put lift ticket off to the side for now and talk a little bit about MP Skids. MP Skids is amazing. This is definitely a look back at the original Masterpiece line. And when I mean original, I mean like Prowl and Sideswipe and all of them. That's what this is. That's what this feels like. It's so good. It First of all, it has like full car functionality of doors uh, trunk slash boot and ah my thumbnail and a hood slash bonnet which is so cool it does all of that which is awesome and it still transforms so let's just do that real quick so I can show you him next to lift ticket first of all transformation is fun and easy by the way because this is literally all that it is Focus up, you moron. My camera's being an idiot right now. See Megatron dressed up as Santa, and then he just gives everybody coal. Because Megatron is canonically evil. But which version of Megatron would you want to see dressed as Santa? Oh, peg in, you absolute numpty. There we go. Okay, then that goes down. That folds back. Is that Legacy Skids? Hell no, this is Masterpiece Skids. Legacy Skids doesn't come out till friggin' May. June, 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 not May. Bulkhead's May. Committing camera abuse. 
Cameron needs to cooperate, my guy. Camera needs to... This is the only part of the figure that I do not like is tabbing in these chest sections. Everything else is amazing about this masterpiece toy. Because it feels like an original... I have to do this up here. It feels like an original masterpiece. There we go. Then the other one comes undone. God damn it. Peg in. There. Yep, there we go. Got it. Didn't realize I've pretty much the all mode of skids and crosscut in Hot Wheels forms. Camera. Hi, Carolyn. All right, let's get this. Building on that Christmas Megatron idea. What about classic sound wave that transforms into a present? <laughs> That would work, because he just turns into a box. I love this little attention to detail here to make everything fit. The leg looks a bit weird, but you just shift it ever so slightly and that fixes it. That's so cool. I love those little like bits of twang they put on the transformation to make the figure just that much better. And boom, there we go. And the entire chest comes on top. See, this is my only issue. The whole friggin' chest comes undone. And then it's a bitch to get back in. There we go. And there we go. Okay. And there is MP Skids. Now he's great. He is wonky because I think that yeah didn't shift his like there we go building on the present sound wave is a lot of a lot of ravages that are actual reindeer yeah that would work and now Brian's here in his other account that's great but that is uh skids here he is next to lift ticket that's really cool new phone who dis but yeah, that's um I definitely recommend Skids. Like this thing is easily easily the best masterpiece I've purchased this year. It is so good. Here he is with um MP Inferno. And then there's there's lift ticket in the back. That is that definitely fits very well into this masterpiece aesthetic. I really do like that. And it feels great. It feels like an actual solid figure. The paint feels durable. The joints feel really sturdy. Like, okay, I broke his leg in half there. But there are really nice ratchets in the thing. And, like, the knees are so smooth and fluid. The elbows are nice. The shoulders are great. But he's clear plastic. That means he's bad. The clear plastic actually feels thicker. So I like it. It's, it's a really nice toy. I definitely recommend. And it's cheap. It's like 80 US dollars for this thing. Which is awesome because a Masterpiece Bumblebee, who is about this big, costs what? $200? $150? It's expensive. Waiting for Crosscut. Wonder if they'll do Movie Skids repaint. I highly doubt that, but that would be cool. What else did you get from TFCon? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because we have more shit to talk about. Starting with everyone's favorite. The Seeker Mold. Uh, it's not great, but I still like it. This thing is not great at all, but it is still super fun to mess with. But here's your um, masterpiece comparison with... Yeah, they don't fit in the same aesthetic. <laughs> they don't fit at all. Excuse me. They, they None of these guys fit. Well, these two fit. They don't fit with him. But honestly, I've been enjoying this plain guy. He's pretty cool. Plain guy, Thundercracker. But that's that's a little. Let me let me get it up here to show you because like you have Thundercracker, and then that just happens. Is more leader class from Chug than MP? Yeah, I can see that. I mean, leader class. If leader class did this, <laughs> but that's the Toys R Us exclusive one too. 
And then I also got fucking New Age Magnus, who's missing a thigh piece right now. Here it is. And New Age Magnus is absolutely amazing in every way, apart from him being a little wibbly. Comparing it to skids, I think you owe Thundercracker an apology. <laughs> but this thing is really good. Like here's a little 360 of it. There's die cast in here too. There's die cast in the feet. But the best part about this is not actually the Ultra Magnus combo, although this is cool. Let's actually just take this off. And get all the armor off here. Come on. Oh, right, it's pegged in. Ugh. The best part about this is the fact that they're able to squeeze an MP44 into this size. Like, let's let's just get this thing all... I'm going to manual focus. This camera sucks. There we go. If you get all this stuff situated... Get it all folded out. Bring this up. Rotate that down. How does Magnus even transform? You take him apart. The dog's barking. And then you rotate the arms. And then you put the chest back together. Apologies for the dog if you can hear it. Ruby has decided to wake up and start barking at whatever's outside. And then you rotate that back around bring this down come on there we go but the fact that they're able to make mp44 this big is just it baffles me like look at that look at how good that looks and he is small. He is very... Here's a deluxe. He is very small. But he is so freaking good. This thing is just... It's just so good. It's definitely pick one of these up if you can. Because it's, it's just... There's nothing else I can say other than it's really good. And the Magnus armor is good too. I really do like it. Matrix, hand me the Magnus. All right, let me not mix up Magnus's parts with um, lift tickets. But I did get another Magnus, which is this one. This is um, Iron Factory's IDW version of Magnus. This is what they call City Commander. And it is the best thing I bought at TFCon. It is... Okay, f what makes this the best is, first of all... He has butterfly joints. All right. I wasn't expecting that. Then he's got like upper shoulder, lower shoulder joints along with normal shoulder joints. He has a waist rotation ab crunch and then this, which surprised me. I wasn't expecting side to side tilt on Magnus and individual fingers. He has individually articulated fingers. It's so good. It is so good. And it's a legend scale figure with ratchets in it. And it's a Voyager, too, by the way. This is legend scale, but it's a Voyager. <coughs> so that makes it well worth its price. This thing is absolutely superb. Okay, now I'm scared. Angus. He's angry. He's Angie Magnus. I'm never going to say that again. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, right. Botcon Landshark. This is a Botcon repaint of Energon Landmine. And he's very big. Make him do middle fingers. Maybe later. But this thing my buddy Nick convinced me to get. And, um, I have it. And he fell over on the space bar. Did I do any? Did I break anything? No, I didn't. This is cool, though. This is really cool. I mean, he doesn't do much other than this, but it's still really cool to have a BotCon figure now. And let's see. 
Let's see if anyone can name what this is. Can anyone tell me who this person is? For the low, low price of five ninety nine. What? I'm just kidding. Who do you think this is? <laughs> it for some reason reminds me of old toys from the late 2000s. This is from the late 2000s. Evac. Yep, there you go. This is Evac. This is first movie Evac, who is a repaint of Blackout. And it is okay. It is just okay. It has a bunch of issues, a bunch of them, but it is okay. I do like this. Get out of the way, David. I do like this, but like this, this little platform here, the button is like really, really hair triggery. Like you can just flick it and it falls off. This doesn't peg in properly on mine. It just likes to come off all the time. It's just that that part's not the best. And then the propellers never want to stay. Oh, so it's from that evacuation pack? No, it literally is just a single pack figure. This is his box. It's just a single pack. Does it transform the same? Yes, it does. Who, David? David is what New Age calls Optimus Prime. Anyways, let's get this guy transformed. Funny, I bought Evac this year from my friend Larry. <laughs> hi, hi, Brian's friend Larry. Oh, my Evac's automorph is broken, by the way. It just doesn't work. I have to do it manually. Which is a shame because I love Automorph. I think it's cool. Eh. Eh. Come on, peg in. There we go. So what I do with the bottom thing is push it a bit and the hinge stays. Mine just likes to fall to bits. <laughs> Whether I keep everything on or not, it just falls off regardless. Which is why this thing is just anatomy. It, you don't have... I keep kicking the camera. You don't have to parts form this. Okay. You don't have to parts form this if you don't want to. I just choose to because it's going to fall off anyways. Tell David I say hi. <laughs> Gotta love white David. <laughs> oh, my buddy Nick, Andrew, and I were just laughing so hard during the convention at that stupid David thing. Because New Age has both David and Darius. And I just love their naming scheme. It's so funny. All I see is orange, white, and a new head blackout. That's pretty much all that this is. And then you fold all that up. Like so. And then fold all that up. Like so. And ba bam There's, there's, uh, you can't see him. There's Evac. Now let's get the rest of his bits. I ripped the propeller off. Uh, there we go. And then that untabs, rotates, comes undone as usual. And then that just goes back on there. Fucking this thing. Urgh. It's annoying me. But that's David. David. This is not David. This is Evac. This is David. And he's okay. He's he's not the greatest thing in the world. I mean, like, his weapon is literally just... That. And he's alright. He's okay. He's not the greatest. I do like the mold. I just think that this particular version has some degradation to it because they repainted and remolded this thing a lot. So, yeah, that's why a bunch of the bits like to fall off. But that's another thing I got from TFCon. I punched the microphone. I'm very sorry. Now let's see who can guess what this is. 
Do you know what this is? I don't know why I put the accent on, I'm sorry. Yeah. There's a bit of a delay, so I'm just waiting for answers to pop up. <laughs> just kibble fix the degradation. Yeah. I love how this thing just rotates. It's not drop shot. It's the green version of drop shot. It's not over. Is it overload? I can never remember whether it's overload, flak, or hard top. Drop shot is the tan one. Hailstorm was a movie toy. This is not a movie toy. This is a universe toy. But he's 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 repaint of scatter shot that can actually rotate. And when you lift the turret, hello, there's his head. But this thing is sick, and you know, Cyber Planet Key. Uh, Cyber Planet Keys doing things. Overload. Okay, yeah, it is overload. This thing is just so much fun. It looks like it's from G.I. Joe. It kind of does. This is cool. This thing is actually really nice. And it's pretty chunky. The panels are nice and smooth. This thing was used too, and it feels like it's in such great shape. It's Universe Classics Overload. I had to go into the stock images. <laughs> okay, so this is Overload. That's his name. See, that one wasn't a quiz. I was just genuinely curious because I don't, I didn't know who this was. I just wanted the mold. There he is. There he is. Our worlds are in danger. Yes. But there he is. That's it's literally he's very, very back hollow. Great that's stuck in my head. Good. <laughs> it's stuck in my head now too. But let's love this. He comes with a gun, right? That you can put in his hand. But he doesn't need it because he's got this thing. And then he's got this thing. Like he doesn't need more guns. This is based on this is an Autobot for crying out loud. And he's covered in guns. That's just ridiculous. Jeff. Yes, Jeff. This is just, oh my lord. It's cool. It's very cool. But it's, it's a lot. This is, it's just, it's fun. It's very fun. I also had mud flap from the first movie, but I, I left it upstairs. He is the gun, yes. Can you play the Cybertron 3? I don't have it downloaded, and I don't want copyright stuff, so I'm not gonna. But speaking of Cybertron, we have the man who does not want to stand up straight. Jetfire. He is. Ah, stay. Stay standing. Jeez. Would it help if I rotated the waist? Nope. Okay, he's going to stay like that. But this man is huge. His cyber planet key can make those kind of underwhelming it's literally just that and then some lights and sounds but he doesn't have any batteries in him but that's that hey dr lockdown's here hello that is jetfire that's another thing i picked up from tfcon and then i managed to score one of these for 40 bucks that's just insane is dr lockdown just saying the theme he is god damn it <laughs> i got a primus ow that hurt this thing is awesome this thing is really cool but now let's get back to we got distracted let's get back to lift ticket <laughs> Uh, 
on lunch break. Enjoy your lunch break. Let's get a nice close-up shot. There we go. This thing is cool. I do like this. As an exclusive, I was expecting a New Age figure because they did New Age for the States. But this is cool. This is really cool. That went out of focus very quickly. Holy crap. But yeah, this is really cool. I dare you to use Primus as a bowling ball. You can't rotate this thing down a friggin... Look at it. It's covered in spikes. The, the last night version is cool. Will you ever get that Unicron, the... Which one? The Yamato one? <clears throat> no, go back to Ball. Where's Ball? Hang on. Here's... Oh! Here's Ball. Ball. Okay. Goodbye, Ball. My sister thought it was a Bakugan when I first showed her because they used to make those really big ones. Red Hoist is temporary. Ball is eternal. I wish you could pin comments like that like forever. That'd be hilarious. Man, I fell out of Transformers YouTubers until I found your channel. Hey, thank you. Now back to Mr. Ticket Man. Yes, this is Mr. Ticket Man. Jesus Christ, my phone's blowing up. Looks like you're having a... Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> God damn it. Use Primus as a volleyball then. Are everyone just saying ball? Okay, I'll get back to the ball. Hang on. Where's the ball? Here's the here's the here's the bloody ball. There you go. Ball. Here's lift ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Why does everyone want to see Primus more than they want to see friggin' this? Does he give out tickets? He came with a golden ticket. Live ticket, cheese it's themed. I love it. <laughs> Dude, you're balling. God damn it. This is just a ball fest now. I probably shouldn't say that. David just chilling. Yeah, David. He's doing the Michael Jackson lean. Hang on. There we go. But this is a really cool exclusive, and I'm very happy I bought it. It was a little expensive, but it's still cool, nonetheless. Yeah. Fine. 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 Ball. Is lift ticket painted red to go faster? Yes. All red cars go fast. This does not want to stay. All red cars go faster. You know this. We need a cyber key. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's annoying me. Also, canonically a fembot. Is Lift Ticket a fembot? I didn't know that. Oh, whatever. Let's see if I can transform this without the Omega Lock, because that's upstairs and I don't feel like going to get it. Because I'm like, Dr. Lockdown, I don't leave my streams. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. Please don't hate me. All right, let's see if I can get Ball transformed. Just leave Ball on stream. Well, Ball is being turned into robot now, so. Okay, there's, there's that. This is going to be annoying. Hang on. I don't have the Omega Lock. Ugh, I can't get Ball transformed. <laughs> Isn't a doctor. He's a nurse. <laughs> I need something strong that I can just like flick this open with. There we go. I did it without the Omega Lock. I can't do the legs though because I do need the Omega Lock for that.
ball. Don't hurt ball as you do. Keep ball. This is the size of ball for anyone who's interested. Uh, commander class. I wish I'd gotten this guy's feet. I got him in a dump bin. Ah, I've had a couple of figures I got from dump bins that don't have feet. He has ankle pivot, by the way. Like, he has, like, actual ankle pivot or toe pivot for a Cybertron toy with guns. Oh my god, it's wrong. Yes, it is wrong. Only people who read the comics will understand that reference. Look. It's God. Oh, I love how this just turned into a thing of us saying ball, ball almost prime. God damn it. He is very big. He is, okay, um, I don't have any, like, sort of measuring anything down here, I don't think. But here's a uh, 6.4 inch uh, smartphone next to him. So this is 6.4 inches. It's another 6.4 inches. That's another 6.4 inches. So he's he's tall. He's very, very tall. He's also out of focus. Pacific Rim chest. Yes. And like, it, eh. No, I can't. Whatever. All right. That's enough of ball. Huh. There's also this. He's not Titan big, but he's about Commander class big. This is animated Ultra Magnus. I believe this was the first Magnus to come with a hammer. I could be wrong. But yeah, this thing is really fun. This is what Nick gave me to pay for his ticket for TFCon because they're about the same. So yeah, no ball. Ball will not be returning. If Primus makes, uh, if Hasbro makes Primus, they have to include Rome. Yes. Altered Magnum Dong. How did we make stream about Ball? I don't know. You guys did. This is more, yes. So I, I bought three Ultra Magnuses. This one, this one, and David. That's the Optim, the Optimus. God damn it. That's the Met Ultra Magnuses that I got. This is cool. His electronics do not work, but I don't care. <laughs> I seriously don't care. And then the last figure, probably the most weird one is this. Minosaur. Why is this Minosaur? Like who like, I'm so used to movie toys being named random things because they're movie toys, but Minosaur? Like, Cybertron doing it is just weird. He comes with a Minicon that does this. In any war, David. We shipped David and the ball. Here's David and Minosaur. Well, you want to see MP Skids again? There's MP Skids. There he is. That is David and Minosaur. I don't understand Minosaur. Yes, this is Minosaur. This is Cybertron Minosaur. He's supposed to be part of the giant planet. So he's supposed to be huge. But the toy is uh, the same size as Lift Ticket. But he's fun. He's weird. Um, just bring all that back. And hook it on the place. And he's got a spinning drill. And the Cyber Planet key gimmick is just electronics that don't work. Let's put the Minicon back. His chest. Minicon is the only Stunticon thing about Cybertron Minosaur. The Minicon is a dump truck, by the way. That's a, uh, that's a dump truck. So. Size comparison with Tahu. Which Tahu? Um... We're going to go with 2016 Tahu. There you go. There's your size comparison with 2016. Nice. 
2016 Tahoe size comparison. There you go. But um, he's strange. I'll show you the alt mode. You guys will love the alt mode for the people who think that this, for have never seen this Minosaur before. Yes, I will do a size comparison with him first. There, Brian, are you happy? There's your size comparison. Tahu killed David. Yes, he did. David's dead. And then this splits. And then this rotates. Does that. I'm never happy. What? David has fallen, and David will never get up. All right. You ready for the alt mode? That's, that's it. That is the alt mode. I don't know what this is, but I, it's a thing, and it exists, and now David is standing on top of him. Ah, oh, fuck it. David is dead. Only ball is left. Let me put David into his vehicle mode, show you how good this thing is. Ball must avenge David. Ball will avenge... Well, David's here. David's crooked. Holy crap. David's neck has also extended itself. Mm. I like the transformation sequence with how they're just like CGI renders of the toy. Yeah. David has fallen into the river in Mountain. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, build the Lego City rescue helicopter. All right. So this thing is actually quite complex. I'm going to zoom out. It, um, it's a whole ordeal. Let's just do it. So to start with, you want to do the top section. So we'll rotate all that around. And then keep in mind, this is all legend scale. Flip this around, compress it. Bring this all forward and out and around like so. Is David worth the price for how small he is? Hell yes. It's... The engineering is what you're paying for, and the like the the quality of it, because the plastic quality is very good. I miss the old Bionicle, don't we all? Don't we all? Except for people who think Bionicle is not real Lego, in which case, go away. I don't want to speak to you. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. I did this wrong. There we go. Is Scorp it's Scorponok Energon. <laughs> Energon Scorponok's a cool toy. I used to have it when I was little. I love that figure. So I'll just tab that in. I didn't get rid of the David restocks. My Walmart only has red Soundwave. And I don't collect red anyways because it's not my thing, so... Why does Optimus Prime look like that? Because it's the inside of Ultra Magnus, so he's always white. Do you hope Bionicle comes back? Of course I do. Will it come back? I don't know. There are four Lego executives who don't believe Bionicle is real Lego. So that's one of the main reasons why it has not made a successful return. Let's just get the doors open. There are stores here who still sell those um, buildable action figures of Star Wars sets. So, I guess I still remember those because I still see them everywhere. David for Bionicle Train Home Season 2. Okay, so that's the torso. All the, there you go, Gerwalk mode. And then the legs. The legs are a little bit more finicky. Which is saying a lot because the torso is pretty finicky. So you get that, you rotate this around and you pull it down. 
Then you bring this out. You rotate that. And you rotate that. And then you split the wheel. And you bring that down and around. You fold that. Compress it in. And then you rotate that around. And that's one side all done. Then you will do the other side. Then I must focus on the subject. There we go. Yo, come on. There we go. This side is the trickier side because there's this tab in the way. So you got to like do that. There we go. And then I'm just going to bring that around. Start. And then you just... Yeah, Bionicle did save Lego from death and Lego now refuses to acknowledge it. One of the reasons why I stopped buying Lego. That and just how they don't listen to their fans anymore. And then you just want to bring this up and around like that. And make sure you do it correctly and not like an idiot. Like me. Because I've currently done something wrong and I don't know what it is. Ah, I figured it out. I have to rotate a section. And I haven't done that yet. I must rotate that. There we go. There we go. Now it's correct. Now David is proper. And there you go. There is little tiny MP44. Now that's just that's just cool. And and also Opening doors. Opening doors. Would you ever try out Gunpla? I have about 30 so 30 or so kits, so I like them. But now let's do the rest of his bits. Trailer. David is if MPM made a legend scale figure, yeah. Fans, why don't Hasbro make toys of the same engineering as 3P Legends? This exists, fans. Uh-oh. Well, also, fans complain that, like, oh, we don't get things as good as third party. Third party costs, like, three to four hundred dollars a figure. Why would you want to pay that much for a Hasbro toy? <clears throat> Wait, is this Magnus from the TFCon video? Yes, it is. Just getting the trailer transformed. Then in the last figure I'll show you guys is this, and then I'll call it a day because my voice is starting to go. But let's get Ultra Magnus here. Peg in. I'm looking at the camera now. That's the actual toy. Hang on. E. Eh. Tab in. Tab. There we go. Let's get the gun out of here. Third party is also hitting this. Yes. There are a lot of really good third parties, like this, and a lot of really bad third parties, like Devil Savior. Everyone's talking about David, which is all fine and dandy, but no one's talking about Darius, the Galvatron. His name was Darius. So all of that swings around and pegs in like so. Why is his name David? So it's the Ultra Magnus isn't actually called David, but because David's funny and David's the name of the Optimus Prime, I'm calling this David as well. They call it David to get around the copyright because it's a third party toy and they technically cannot be calling it Optimus Prime. Or Ultra Magnus, for that matter. So they went with David. And, um... Pretty sure they knew it was going to be a meme. But, yes, David is so funny. And then that just kind of... Pegs into there and there. 
then that comes down there and there. Then you split the legs, shove that into there, close it up, and there you have Magnus. And that's really neat. That is really neat. You can take MicroMasters, excuse me, you can take MicroMasters and put them in there if you want to. That doesn't want to fit. There, MicroMaster, on, on top of David. There you go. This Ultra Magnus is cool. I do quite like it. All hail David, yes. Hail to the King David. Um, these peg in on the sides. Like so. This, I don't know where this stores, if anywhere, so whatever. But yes, David. But you see that, David, and I would like to raise you this, David. This is City Commander, and City Commander is absolutely super. I'm not in frame. City Commander is absolutely superb. He is such a good figure. I'm not going to transform it because my back's starting to hurt. But I just want to show you, like, the posing power of this thing is amazing. You can get it to pretty much do whatever you want. Thick David, yes. Like, you can do whatever you want to with this figure. It's very close to Optus Pexis levels of engineering and transformation without actually being Optus Pexis. It's very fun. I do quite like it. And Minim oh, Minimus Ambus is stored inside here. Like, you can store them in there, which is a really nice touch. I really do like how you can do that. David crash landed in Russia. Yes. But this is fun. I really do. I definitely recommend picking up a um, Iron Factory Magnus because it is really cool. But I think I'm going to end that there because we're an hour and 40 minutes in and my back hurts. Oh. Uh. Hey, do you know how to fix the combiner port? It's also stiff. Oh, you asked on Discord? I'm sorry I missed it. I'm... Combiner port that is so stiff you feel like it'll snap off. If it's on a screw, unscrew it and maybe snip the spring a little bit to make it less stiff. That's what I'd say. Have you gotten Optus Pexis? I have not. I saw a bunch of Optus Noxes at TFCon, but I passed on them. I bought other things. I bought I bought this over friggin' Optus Pexis. Do the Thundercracker. Here's the Thundercracker. There he is. Thundercracker. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it there because my back's getting sore from standing. Um, so your channel is really cool. Thank you. But uh, thank you very much, everyone who tuned in. I'll probably do more of these at some point if I get more figures, but I probably won't for a while because I've got a lot here. By David. Uh, Triple B showed up right as I'm ending. Ugh. <laughs> uh. But yeah, thanks so much everybody for watching. I do really appreciate it. See ya.